Chapter 18 Obey One Yenyekova thought he heard something and turned around. Then, Daniel's body fell to the ground. Turning again, he saw Daniel with a hole in his forehead, blood gushing out. Then he felt a sharp pain in his left arm. Looking down, he saw blood coming out of his arm. Looking up, he saw a man with a sniper silencer shooting at them. Quickly and with great force, he took out one of his metal stars and threw it. Hitting the man in the middle of his skull, he fell dead. He looked down to see his wounds, then looked up. Daniel said, I get it, I get it. One in Yekova dropped to one knee. I just saw a vision. There's a man nearby in some bushes. I will throw one star in the bush. I need you to throw four more stars six inches below where I throw, and I'm going to throw four more stars because I'm unsure if he's standing or kneeling. Now, Wanin Yekavu shouted as he turned. He threw a star and heard an unfamiliar sound. Then Daniel threw four more stars below where he threw, and they heard the sound again. Then Wanin Yekavu threw his four and heard a long, silent cry. Go quickly and get the rest. Wanyanyekova pulled out the Colt revolver he got from Jome and slowly walked towards the bushes. He saw a man unconscious, lying in his blood, barely breathing. Kicking the gun away from his body, making sure he was out, he placed his foot on one of his wounds and pressed down. It wasn't long before everyone was surrounding the area. Wanyanyekova signaled that everything was all right. Daniel! Wanyanyekova said. You're always seconds from finding your request? He looked at Joam as he continued. We need to get information out of this guy, Daniel. I need you to heal him just enough to find out who he is, what he wants, and who sent him. Daniel healed the most severe wounds while Joam and Jonathan tied the man up. Once tied, Wanyanyekova slapped the man to awaken him. How is it you tracked us? said Wanyanyekova. The man looked at his wound and asked, What happened? Wanyanyekova slapped him again and demanded, How is it you tracked us? Shaking his head and bucking his eyes, he replied, There's a communicator in your possession. It belongs to the Abney I work for Alpha, Quebec 1 or AQ1. Wanyanyekova then asked, How is it we didn't detect you? The man replied, Cloaking device made by the Abenians, holding his wrist up as high as he could get it. Like the one on my wrist. Wanyanyekova took it off and handed it to Alicia. You guys see what you can do with this, so we don't have anyone else sneaking upon us. The man then asked, How did five men, three women, and a boy kill over a thousand well-trained Anakatas? Still seeing Daniel covered in blood in his vision, furious, Wanyanyekova said, I'll ask the questions here. Taking out his assegai, one last question Wanyanyekova asked, where is this ebony that you work for? The stranger said. I don't know. He gives the orders, and I carrying them out, but there's a bounty on you all's head as well. I was just told to scout the area for survivors because the communicator was still on. We were unsure of what happened. But when I saw you too and thought of the bounty, Wanyanyekova slapped him again. You killed a boy. Confused, the man said. Is there another one, besides that one? For I have killed no one today, let alone a boy. I was aiming for you. Wanyanyekovu forgot it was a vision, but the fact that he would have killed him made him furious, and he charged at the man with the assegai. Wanyanyekovu, child of Sabaoth, meet Obey, a great warrior of Sabaoth. Wanyanyekovu remembered his vision and Obey's face, dropped the assegai, turned, and walked away, saying, We cannot harm him. Daniel. Heal him because he's a man of Sabaoth. Obey, still confused, asks, Who is that man? And that voice called me a child of Sabaoth. Daniel did not say a word. Jonathan walked toward him, saying, Let's see was the voice, I think, and that is Wanyanyekovu of Louisiana, a warrior for Sabaoth. Where the fuck you get that we killed over a thousand people? Before he could speak, Jonathan asked Obey, and how is it that a believer of Sabaoth, Wakatilian at that, works for an Abney? Obey said, First, I work for the Anakatas, and they work the Abney. You will never see an Abenians get their hands dirty. They will always have someone taking care of their dirty work. 
Second, I have worked for them since I was a child. I don't really know much about Sabbath or my roots at that. 